A recent archaeological discovery sheds light on the figure of Emperor Augustus, called Son of God, on a coin from 4 BC, highlighting that divinity associated with figures of power was not unusual at that time. However, the revolutionary emergence of Jesus, a humble Jew also recognized as the Son of God, marks an extraordinary contrast and underscores the uniqueness of Christianity that is rooted in Judaism. The story traces a path from the ancient religious practices of the Hebrew people to monotheism and the covenant with God, established by Abraham, as foundations that set the stage for this new understanding of divinity. This discovery not only emphasizes the importance of Jesus in a broad historical and religious context but also invites reflection on notions of faith, power, and divine promise that have influenced humanity throughout the centuries. The uniqueness of a transcendent, eternal God demanding social justice distinguishes Judaism within the religious panorama of antiquity, marking a deep and complex relationship with the Jewish people over more than 5,700 years. This context of faith is challenged and enriched by the Roman occupation of Judea, where oppression and Hellenization prompted several Jewish groups to seek a return to ancestral practices and beliefs. Among these movements of resistance and renewal, Jesus of Nazareth emerges as an exceptional figure whose message of peace, love, and justice, along with his acts of miracles, establishes him as a revolutionary leader. His teaching, which occurs in a time of significant political and spiritual turmoil, marks a turning point in religious history, offering a new understanding of divinity and morality that would resonate through the centuries. In a world where power and wealth dictated the social order, Jesus' message stood out as a beacon of hope for the poor and oppressed, proposing a radically different vision of society. With teachings that challenged established authorities, such as the idea that it was easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter heaven, Jesus not only challenged social norms but also became a direct threat to Roman power. This anti-authoritarian stance led to his arrest, trial, and ultimately execution by crucifixion, the method reserved for rebels at that time. Beyond debates about his divinity, what truly captures attention is the historical impact of Jesus. A man seen by many as the promised Messiah, the Anointed One, the Son of God, expected to redeem the world. This belief in Jesus as the Savior emerged in a context of oppression and suffering under Roman rule and was nourished by the long Jewish tradition of hope in a liberator. The story of Jesus leads us to question. What made this small group of followers believe so firmly in him as the Messiah? And how did this faith spread so widely to become one of the most influential religions in the world? Exploring these questions not only delves into the origins of Christianity but also offers a perspective on how radical ideas, in times of crisis, can alter the course of history and resonate through the centuries. In a time of oppression and longing for liberation, Jewish prophecies of a Messiah who would bring a new eternal kingdom offered a promise of hope and renewal. Among these, Isaiah chapter 53 stands out for describing a figure who would be despised and rejected by men, a disturbingly accurate echo of Jesus' life and sufferings. This and other prophecies, such as that of Daniel chapter 7 verse 14, fueled the belief among some Jews that Jesus was the promised Messiah, especially with the promise of an astonishing coming kingdom a hope particularly resonant for those who had lost their autonomy under foreign dominion. What is fascinating is that the figure of the Messiah was not an exclusive notion of Jewish tradition. Even the Romans, through the poetry of Virgil, speculated about the arrival of a divine being who would bring peace and cohesion among gods and men. This intertwining of messianic expectations in such distinct cultures suggests a universality in the human hope for redemption and justice. The delay in documenting Jesus' life, due to the anticipation of an imminent eternal kingdom, raises an intriguing reflection on how faith and expectation shape memory and history. The narrative of Jesus, situated at the intersection of prophecy, hope, and historical reality, invites a deep exploration of how beliefs and historical circumstances intertwine to shape movements that transcend time and space. This account not only immerses us in the origin of one of the most influential figures in history but also challenges us to reflect on the nature of faith, hope, and the promise of renewal in times of crisis. The story of how Jesus, unlike Emperor Augustus, became the most influential figure, both being considered sons of God, reveals a fascinating twist of fate and faith. The transformation of Christianity from a Jewish sect to a global religion was largely due to three key historical factors. 
the exacerbation of conditions for Jews under Roman rule, the destruction of the temple, and the beginning of the Jewish diaspora, the strategic decision to open the religion to non-Jews, and the decisive influence of Saul of Tarsus, St. Paul, in spreading Christianity among the Gentiles. These events not only redefined the identity and religious practice of Jesus' followers but also established Christianity as a faith that transcended cultural and geographical borders, marking the beginning of its global expansion and Jesus' enduring legacy as one of the most transcendental figures in history. Paul's decision to open Christianity to non-Jews, leveraging his freedom of movement as a Roman citizen, was fundamental to the global expansion of the religion. By freeing Jesus' followers from Jewish restrictions, he allowed Christianity to transcend cultural and geographical borders, becoming accessible to a much wider audience. This historical moment not only catalyzed the spread of Christianity across the Mediterranean but also laid the foundations for its evolution into a worldwide faith. Moreover, the story takes us on an interesting detour to the present day, where the fish symbol, or ichthys, originally used by early Christians as a sign of clandestine recognition, has found new life in popular culture, especially in car decals. This symbolic evolution from a secret communication method to an emblem of religious pride illustrates Christianity's adaptability and persistence over the centuries. The history of Christianity, from its humble origins to becoming the dominant religion of the Roman Empire, is a testament to resilience and adaptability. In a context of imperial decline, where despair and the lack of promises of an afterlife characterized the Roman religion, Christianity offered salvation and hope, attracting followers even in times of persecution. The conversion of Emperor Constantine not only legitimized the Christian faith but also marked the beginning of its accelerated expansion, culminating in the adoption of Christianity as the official religion of the empire. This fascinating historical journey, intertwined with the contemporary anecdote of the ichthys symbol, highlights how symbols and beliefs transform and endure reflecting the ongoing human search for meaning and connection. Time Voyagers stands out for its interactive approach, encouraging its audience to actively participate through guessing weekly phrases and suggesting topics for future episodes. This approach not only promotes a community of engaged viewers but also offers a space for collective learning where specific questions can be answered by expert historians. With the motto, Don't Forget to Be Unforgettable, the program invites everyone to leave their mark on the historical narrative, emphasizing the importance of active participation and knowledge sharing.